in the previous episode. Lots of things happened. Even Godzilla became horny for this women. I'm coming! But thanks to our bald death bird, he got back to his senses. Then later, some more horny creatures appears and starts attacking on Godzilla because some great debate between them. But at last, Godzilla managed to poke his thing into them and make them scream as this women is too much for all the male's beast. So Samurai Wolf decides to handle her by himself and wanted to poke his sword into her, make her further excited. But it later reveals that our Samurai Wolf is actually a Sigma. And directly launch his slash attack on her, which make her body bounce back. He hurts her feeling, but later their leader handle her and ready to give his thing. Also, he's not alone for her. There's so many waiting in line. Jokes apart, let's get back to this serious battle. Godzilla starts devouring some to recover his health. Godzilla directly challenge him. If he has something else to do, do now, as he'll get no other chance. He says, his men's already assembled and ready for battle, but it seems that they don't have many people. He became too confident on their number, Godzilla asked. What makes him think that they have fewer people? He's just worried about scaring him away, so he asks them to stand by outside. Then he roars. Also, Ape Girl, Samurai Wolf, and Death Bird get responded by all of their clan's beast. Their defaming roar echoed in the entire area. Soon enough, they got surrounded by many giant beasts. Wraith says them not to be panic. It's just a bunch of beasts with no brains. And you all are the best warriors of the Hades Temple. He order the metal and rock attribute holder to defend them. While the elder will deal with this behemoths, and the remaining ones will attack without distinction. Godzilla gave the white wolf responsibility to lead the giant beast. Also warned him about their strength. White wolf assure him, as this is their home, they will protect it with their lives and offer their life to him. Then Godzilla command them to attack. The another battle between super beings and Giyuan island beasts. The venomous assassin again goes for Godzilla. He doesn't know why he wants to paint his body. With so many poisonous wound on one's body, other may have already been dead. But he's still alive and have so much strength left on him. Huh. Compared to the enemies he dealt with before, his poison is just a small thing. Godzilla launch his serious punch on him. Greed is already furious after his insult. And use his poison control ability and blast to open all his wound again. The wounds that he healed before get opened again. His sword is a treasured sword from the secret realm. And it has superimposed poisoning effect on the enemy. As long as 36 cuts are made, the poisonous explosion will be triggered. Still, his 36 poisonous sword explosions haven't knocked him down yet, but he's still left with 77 poisonous explosion. Once again, he jump and ready to make 77 cuts on his word. Godzilla is helpless again, this agile creature. This position will slowly and gradually make him paralyze. Godzilla's blood pressure rising. Now he can only be at his mercy. While the scene moves to the Samurai Wolf and the Sumo's fight. Samurai Wolf having tough time. He thinks this Sumo is of a power stun type, but he's actually not a power user. He put his hand inside his pants and removed some kind of potion. It's actually a blood of an S-level speed user. He killed him and refined his blood into this potion. Gluttony drink it to shape his speed limits. By taking this potion, now he have both, strength and speed ability. Samurai Wolf shocked after finding his devouring ability. Then he swiftly reached to finish Samurai Wolf in one strike. While the scene switched to Ape Girl, she's also facing a tough time. Arrogance is attacking her by using his ice power. Ape Girl resists his attack and about to land a punch on him, but he swiftly dodged her attack. And question if Gorilla ever skated? 
He creates a slippery floor and on the end created a spikes as trap to finish her. While falling, ape girl somehow change her direction and use her dragon fist to defend her, but still got severely injured. While on the other side, death bird feather again turning into rock. So she removed those feather of her. Lust is little surprise, as death bird is removing her feathers to break her petrification attack. However, she doesn't have many feathers left. While death bird launch her twin tornado attack while several other attacks reach for Deathbird. Other super beings launch their sneak attack on her. Deathbird Furious says her, she didn't even left her own people. Her charm doesn't only control others' mind, but also increase their rage and combat power. She says her to imagine. If her girlfriend is being bullied, can she stay calm? She says this bald bird is the one who bullies her. The scene came back on Godzilla, wiping with his tail, and launch his explosive bombs. But greed is too fast and easily dodge, and launch several strikes from the side. Godzilla became worried as these guys overpowered them, and all of them having their hard time. Godzilla has to do the first kill, in order to boost their morale as soon as possible. Godzilla became super serious now, and about to tackle him with his spikes. But Wraith used his mental attack on Godzilla and caused some serious trouble for him. Godzilla knows he's obviously the strongest, but he just keeps pretending despicable. Then once again, Greed cause a poison blast on his body, and without any delay, he's about to launch his another attack. Again, he launch another poison blast. It looks like Godzilla enters into his red HP mode as blood starts spilling out from his eyes, and Godzilla became berserk. Greed became proud on himself and says him to feel honored as he have never used his 79 poison knife technique on anyone before. While on his ignorance, Godzilla's hand reached for him and he finally caught him. He became too much proud just because Godzilla stay still and letting him to chop on his body. Greed says, there's no use of catching him now, as his claws will rot away soon, and soon enough his whole body will turn into a puddle of blood. But for his surprise, fire starts spreading, though, out his body, as everything is going according to Godzilla's plan. Now he will go to hell for his misdeeds. One of the seven sin, greed got punish for his sin. And he shouts and begs to save him. His this form can resist any kind of poison, as he's death himself. Wraith again use his mental frequency to stop him. But this time, it's less effective on him. No one can save him. Godzilla noticed that something coming toward him. Wraith again possessed a pterosaur's body, as he finally decides to face him by himself. So Godzilla give it back to him, and will replace it with his life. In one slice, make it two halves. Wraith became anxious and quickly rushed back to his body. As he just got killed, he can no longer take possession of any body for the time being. Godzilla doesn't miss any chance and quickly prepare his explosive burst breath attack. Wraith says everyone to prepare their defense as Godzilla launch his attack, but on different direction and burn some of the side villains and also hit on lust body and she slammed down with impact, while Godzilla continuously changing the direction of the flame, and wiped out many of Super Being's army, and about to destroy the teleportation portal, so Wraith command them to defend it at any cost, so arrogance jump and formed a giant ice block. But the temperature is too high to maintain it for long, he failed to resist it, so Wraith use Jealousy's super metal and block the flame breath. Soon enough, the lava form get off, as his remaining energy fails to sustain it for long. And soon enough, the fire extinguish, and he became normal again. They thought Godzilla finally became exhausted, and soon will fall in ground. But for their surprise, Godzilla eat the life fruit to recover. Also, his other's party members. They all get healed completely and also recover their full strength, while Lys notice on her body and find that one of her milk tank get burnt out, cause her to lose her senses, and she became super furious and decides to kill them all by herself. She revels her trump card and raised Titanoboa 
and order it to crush everything. The ground starts shaking. Cause Godzilla anxious. A giant rock snake appears on his back. It's now a battle between two giant predator. But here Godzilla get little impressed on her summoning skill. But as he's the king of monster, so there's no space for other. By simply using his bite force, he break its body. He became happy as it's broke into pieces before he even exerted his strength. But Lust didn't give up, as her trump card is not so easy to get kill. She use her power and order her Titanoboa to rise again. Soon enough, the snake appears again. So Deathbird attack on List, as if they can't kill this python, they just have to kill her. List notice on her. So her beast forms some kind of red breath and starts spitting multiple rays, one of it hit on Deathbird, while other one on Godzilla, and starts converting their body. Deathbird got scared, as this giant python can also use petrification attack. By removing her feathers, she fly upward, while Godzilla's leg scale already turned into stone, but still fails to stop him. Godzilla rush towards the snake, while Ape Girl, keeping the Ice Boy busy, and prepare to launch his attack on Godzilla, as petrification doesn't work so he'll add another layer of frost, and starts freezing Godzilla, while Lazy use his gravity attack and creating problem on his movement, they again losing their upper hand in this battle, while Wraith also prepare his katana for Godzilla, as he's the leader of the beast and the strongest one, so they decides to kill him first. Samurai Wolf got distracted, so the sumo, reach and about to kill him, while Deathbird and Ape Girl rush to help Godzilla. But the remaining ones decides to stop these two and launch all of their attack, while Wraith just about to slay Godzilla and his giant sword almost reach for his neck. It's look like everything over now, and the attack hit, cause the ground to shatter and cause lots of dust smoke. But Wraith is confused as the target is vanished. His attack hit on the ground, not on Godzilla. Godzilla's party became shocked. Also, all the elders of Hades' temple. Wraith thought Godzilla also has the teleportation ability and says to be careful to everyone. Samurai Wolf Whisper. It's possible for Godzilla to hide this ability from them, and he knows that Godzilla will definitely come back. Until then, they just have to stick to the best. Motivated girls can't forgive them for laying their sword on Godzilla. They became more furious than before. So, what do you think happened here? Where does Godzilla disappear so suddenly?